when f of s equals the radical that fraction or a square with that fraction, the demand that function is said to be greater than or equals zero. So that means x is said to be greater than or equals zero. So let's look at the typical design by giving f of x equals root of x minus Okay, so my one is three. So how deep are on this function? So when you have this kind of problem, you take the expression and it will be x minus three not than equal to zero. So you make the same formula here. So x will be greater than equals three. So this will be on this function. To represent this in interval notation, is going to give us array numbers from three to relative infinity. Note that we use this bracket when a when your number is included, but we use parentheses and for instance this kind of representation when a number is not included. So take note of this difference. Okay, so let's look at one more example under this before I go to the next. So let's write this. Okay, let's say we are given this problem f of a equals square roots of s square minus 9x plus 20 okay so it's going to give you s square minus 9x plus 20 is greater than equals 0 so we factorize the main factor is going to have x minus 5 x minus 4 okay greater than equals 0 so we're going to have x minus 5 greater than equals zero and x minus four when i equal zero so you make a result from the input you're going to have x is greater than equals five and x is greater than equals four so now we do this function now to represent this in interval notation so it's going to be our numbers from negative infinity to four including four in your values from five so relative infinity including five. So that will be the domain of this function. So let's write this now go and solve for the next rule. Let's explain the next rule. Okay, so the next rule states that when f of s equals a rational function, that the function with radical or square root at the denominator, the mean is said to be greater than zero. That's x is said to be greater than zero. Okay, so let's look at a typical example given f of x equals Three x minus five over the okay, roots of x plus two. So to find the this function is going to be number you should have been x greater than or equals equals zero for this x when you regard the expression under the square root. But x cannot be or zero cannot be under the Denominator. So that's why it has to be x greater than two. So it will be x plus two greater than zero. Okay. So you make this formula. If you make this formula, going to give you x is greater than negative two. So the mode of this function will be all the numbers from will be s will be s greater than negative two. So to prevent this in interval notation, is it will be all the numbers from negative 2 to relative infinity but not including negative 2 okay so that will be the main of this function so let's look at the last example i have here before i call it a class okay let's say you have a problem like this f of x this is my one you call the rational function with square root of the numerator you have square root of x plus 1 over x square minus 9 so when you have this kind of problem, then you have two is three. first situation will be x plus one greater than equals zero and x square minus nine no equals zero. So when you make a the solar formula here, x will get equals negative one. So for this x square minus nine, if you you're going to have x plus three, x minus three, no equals zero. So we're going to have x plus three. No equal zero and x minus three no equal zero. Okay, so make a from the going to give you x no equal negative three and x is no equal three. So you will demand the function. 
I need to present this in Interval Notation. So to present this in Interval Notation, we're going to have two intersections. It is since for this particular problem, here x is going to equal negative 1. And here x is not equal negative 3. So that means we're not going to work with this negative 3. So to present this Interval Notation, it's going to be our numbers from negative 1 to 3, but now including 3 union values from 3 to positive infinity, but not including 3. So that will be the domain of this function. So I basically this is how you can solve problem from the domain of a function. Is me and with this we are coming the end of the class. Hope you learned something interesting. If you like the channel and you know you subscribe, try the subscribe button now for more videos. So like share I comment on this video, tell me how you figure out what you've learned. If you seem to have any specific questions, ask please in the question in the comment section below and we shall give you a response. That's it for this slide guys. Thanks for watching.